Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy. I'm so excited to have you here today. It is Sunday Facebook challenge time and it's also the first one for the month of October. Are you ready for a beautiful new challenge? As we're in our second month of spring, I thought spring would be a really great uh, challenge to have. There's always plenty of flowers and different floral patterns in Stamping Up. So I think we all have plenty to choose from. Let me show you the card that we're creating today. It is a fun fold card. It is this one here using a really gorgeous set in the annual catalogue called the Hand Penned Bundle. We're also using the Hand Penned Designer Series paper. Super cute. This one actually looks really great on a table set out just like this. So that's the one, that is the card that we're going to work with today. Let's get over to the craft table and we'll get started. The card that we're going to create today is going to be slightly different to the one I'm showing you here that's the sample. The sample has Garden Green, Highland Heather and Pool Party as its card colours. Because I've changed the DSP, or a different piece of DSP for this card that we're creating today, I've brought the colours in from that. So we have the hand penned petals uh, bundle as well as the hand penned DSP. I'm changing it up, the inks are going to be Blushing Bride and Misty Moonlight, so that gives you a little bit of a taste of what the colours are. Here's the DSP, so it's very, very similar as you can see, but I'm just bringing a few of those other colours in. So we have a strip of Misty Moonlight and a strip, or a couple of strips of the Blushing Bride as well. So we're starting off with the card base. This is Mint Macaron. This one measures five and seven eighths by 11 and one eighth. And on the 11 and one eighth side, we're going to score at one and three quarters, three and a half, five and a quarter and seven inches. Don't worry about the measurements. They are over on my blog and there is a link to that blog post in the description of this video. So don't stress too much. On the five and seven eighths of an inch side, we're going to pop it at the two inch mark and we're going to cut between the second and third score line, that's going to create that little um, base or that little pop-up feature. And we're going to turn it around to the other side and do the exact same thing. So you end up with two little slits in the card base. So we're going to fold and score on all those score lines. And I fold the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. You can just fold it back. But definitely use your bone folder to get those nice, crisp score lines. Um, this card co goes together really, really easily. Um, the Probably the most time that you'll use is cutting all your DSP pieces, So, um, but it is a gorgeous card. So we're just creating that little T look on the front of the card. Now that we have the card base ready to go, let's bring in all our little pieces of DSP and cardstock. I have already pre-cut everything, but like I said, go over to my blog. All the measurements are listed over there for you. We're going to do a little bit of stamping with the sentiment as well as the inside of the card. And this hand penned um, petals stamp set is really, really pretty. There's plenty of designs in there that you can use. We're going to um, just grab this large stamp out as well as the sentiment. And I'm using Misty Moonlight to do our little sentiment of the uh, image inside the card, or just going on the left hand side down the bottom. And this is so striking, it's really, really pretty. We're also going to do the background of our sentiment piece in that same stamp set with the Misty Moonlight ink. So we're going to bring Blushing Bride in and just stamp that sentiment. This is a really beautiful sentiment. It says anything is possible, which I think is perfect on any card. Once we have that all stamped and ready to go, I'm going to bring in our cut and emboss machine with that side die. This is a really nice um, stitched scallop shape and it just gives that nice little edge on our inside of our card. So I'm just going to run that through the cut and emboss machine. Um, it has really beautiful detail, so I'll try and show you uh, a little bit closer up with it, but gorgeous. So once we've run that through, we can start popping our card all together. This card really does go together very easily. Now, if you're in need of any of the supplies that I'm using on this card or any other card that you would like to create, you can purchase these in my online store. Please use the host code for this month and I'll send you out a handmade card or project as well as a um, bundle tutorial. I love to look after my customers and um, I usually have you know some other special going on at the same time so check that out over on my blog. 
So as I pop the inside piece, the basic white card stock into the inside of the card, it doesn't make much sense, but anyway, I'm also attaching that little die cut as well. Now we have two of these big strips of DSP. And let me just have a quick look. Uh, they measure one and five eighths by three, sorry, five and three quarters. Then we have four of the one and five eighths by one and seven eighths. And then that little one that's right next to our sentiment, that measures one and five eighths by one and three quarters. So it's just that little bit smaller than the other four. So we're just gonna add them all in with liquid glue. You could change it around and maybe use different patterns as well. That would look really, really good. I just liked the simplicity of this and the challenge for this week is spring. So um, this is definitely a very springy DSP and I love it. So um, I can't wait to see what everyone creates with the theme of spring. If you'd like to come and join in, just do a card or a project using spring as your theme. Take a photo of it and then come over to my Facebook page and pop your photo in the comments section of that blog post. And we'd love to see new people join in and see lots of creations. So it's wonderful inspiration for everyone. So I'm just going to quickly fussy cut around this sentiment. Um, it doesn't have to be super perfect. I'm not the best fussy cutter, but I, I seem to be doing a lot more fussy cutting than normal. Anyway, so we're just going to glue that down to the blushing bride piece. And I'm just going to create that little blushing bride border all the way around as well. Super simple and easy. We are gluing the Blushing Bride background down onto that mint macaron square that's left. So I always add my glue to that because it's a little bit wider than um, that little piece that we're gluing onto. As you can see, it goes over the edge, goes to the end of the card as well. So rather than putting it on the Blushing Bride card, just stick a little bit of glue on your mint macaron and you're right to go. And it has a nice little border all the way around as well. Super cute. How cool is this card? And sitting up on a mantelpiece or on a, on a table, everyone would love that. And how different do they look just with the different patterns? Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed today's card. Please give me a like, a comment and share this video. Um, if you haven't seen it, subscribe, you could do that as well. If you'd like to join in this week's challenge, just create a spring themed card or a flower card or project take a photo of it and pop it in my Facebook page in that comments of that post. If you're in need of any of the Stampin' Up! supplies, you can order them through my online store. All the measurements are linked in the description of this video so you can create this card yourself. And if you do create this card, please show me your um, end product. I'd love to see the cards that you create using uh, my tutorials. If you're leaving me a comment, please let me know which card you prefer, whether it's my sample or the one that we created today. Always love to hear your feedback. So if you can leave a, leave a comment, that would be fantastic. All right, everyone, I'll be back with another video really soon for you. So come back and join me. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do that. I'm so close to getting my 1,000 subscribers and that's my goal. So if you can help me out, I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, everyone, have a wonderful day and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.